Good morning, Leos, and welcome. Doing your heart spread for October uh, month spread. This is the biggie, <laughs> I think. And uh, I think it's a biggie month. We've got some retrogrades ending. Um, I think this Mercury retrogrades, uh, you know, it all matters what's in your personal chart, but generally speaking, it's pretty. Um, um, benign, even positive, uh, definitely all about relationships one way or another, so, and I've been saying if you, if you haven't tried the Soul Family Reads, Collective Reads, whatever resonates, and uh, it's 11 minutes today, so I try to speak uh, more from my heart, less about romance, more about manifestation, spirituality, um, and, um, just see if that resonates with you. But this is your heart spread, so it's going to read who's in your heart. And uh, look at the relationship with whoever it is that's in your heart. Whether you're with them or not with them. We'll see. <clears throat> Rice. We were saving an electronic device the other day. <laughs> Anything gets wet, stick it in rice. Always remember that. That's the advice. There you go. All right. Oh, man. Okay. Cut this because I already saw you there. All right. I do count the bottom of the deck in these readings now. So, cancer, energy coming into it. Leo, a lot of Leos have cancer energy, you know. Um, I'm the unusual and um, beautiful chariot in the Gilded Tail Royale. Very confident. Um, again, this old family read, the overall energy was the Six of Wands. I, I'll be compare that. The Six of Wands is like getting accolades from uh, the people. This is like getting accolades from our uh, spiritual team. You know, feeling aligned with our purpose. Uh, it's, a, it's a greater victory in a manner speaking than can be the uh, Six of Wands. So, <clears throat> let's see where you're at. Moon energy. This is you in the round relationships, where your mind is at, where your heart is at. Kind of get a baseline reading here. Kind of get an idea of where you are. Um, It's your um, extra emotional. Again, we go back to that cancer energy, baby. And, you know, if you have your particularly Venus in cancer. I gotta say, I think that's my favorite Venus. Excuse me. I just gotta get up. Give up on my nose. Allergies. Allergies in paradise. Playing up karma and chords this morning. Doing what I love. <clears throat> but I can't breathe. So, um, usually... I think of this as being something is going to be about relationships, and now I'm thinking even more. Watch this over here, but just the, this retrograde is so important. Wherever you have Libra in your chart, and on the tenth, when Mars meets uh, Mercury in retrograde there, and the Sun's there too, within a degree, that should really light something up. And I'm saying like that's going to bring to attention something about our own mental patterns around relationships it's going to be good it's going to help us i kind of think there's something what's going on here there's something you're not seeing i don't know if you have like a pattern in the past where you keep you know if you're you know like some people will be like oh my all oh, my boyfriends are narcissists and you know but it's like you never stop to ask like why are all your boyfriends not they're really not that common you know i don't think a lot of people they're, they're everywhere dave no they're not everywhere there's assholes everywhere, kind of, yeah. A lot of people are unpleasant and selfish and, you know, insensitive, but they're not all narcissists, I don't think. Now, high priestess, you're definitely not dealing with a narcissist. Now, one thing that comes to mind is I love these energies together. I love the moon and the high priestess. They're two very divine feminine energies, very receptive energies, very intuitive energies, very emotional energies. You know, um, <clears throat> and they're both kind of signaling Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. So I uh, think we're going to be dealing with Pisces here. I uh, think Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. 
I'm getting kind of chills here. Whatever it is that you don't see with this relationship, if you haven't already, you will see it with this person. They will look at the little, look at the light bulbs going off. Boom, boom, boom. Whatever it is you're not seeing, Leo's, you're going to see it. Because it's subtle. It's, uh, this is not something, you, it's kind of like maybe you can't put it in words. Maybe it's really not, and feel it. Maybe it's a feeling. Maybe there's, this is, I'm a Cancer Moon. I mean, this kills me how this is. It's so hard to even talk about. But sometimes it's, well, it's also energy. It's like not even verbal. It's not even mental. You know, you, you can't even bring it to the level of articulation. But it's important because if you go back and feel, you know, here's an example. I always wonder, I talk to people about childhoods. I want to go there first. And it's like, but they don't understand because the person they marry is not like their mother does it but if you stop and just quit thinking how does the person if you're having trouble with a person or had trouble how did you feel in that relationship and i bet you anything that that feeling was the same feeling you had in your difficult childhood and so we're reproducing the feeling the energy not the exact circumstances personalities you will see it in astrology i feel you can do it yourself if you know if you have free sites and you know if you have times um look at your mother look at your father look at your lover look at your, you know you'll see patterns there it'll, it'll pop right out <sighs> this you're feeling like the star you're feeling like you manifested this person and there's a lot of manifestors i hope watching this uh reading again the soul family is a manifestation read this is, I mean, just look Look at how harmonious we are. Look at this. That's very spiritual here. We're approaching like crown chakra stuff. It's like this purplish energy in a lot of these. Um, <clears throat> and the fact that they make you, fill you full of hope and uh, that, you know, they're your wish fulfillment uh, <clears throat> is extremely high vibing. And like if I was your friend and you came to me and I saw you in this energy, I would like your person because I'm not a I'm not an a-hole. I'd be like, you know what? Obviously, this person lights you up, and uh, great, I love them already. I don't really care what they look like or what they do or say or I don't even care. I see how they affect you. That's how I think a true friend would be about it. So. Leo, this is now how they're reacting towards you. <laughs> wow. Leo card, strength. We just uh, did a whole reading on strength a few days ago. Kind of focused on strength and read about it from the, the book of the Gilded Tarot. And, um, but this is in the position of how they feel about you. Guys, I want to point out, there's four cards on the table of an eight-card spread, the heart spread. I do count the bottom of the deck. So if you count the bottom of the deck, there's five cards, and they're all major arcana right now. This is a faded soulmate. If you want to call it twin flame, actually, I don't even see the twin flame because this is harmonious. This is flowing. But now they are responding to you. Oh, my God. You are responding to them with the star, and they are responding to you with strength. Your energy. Uh, it, in you, the lion... They see something they really like. This woman is looking right at you, right at you, coming right at you with her, their strength. And it's like, uh, again, I feel like you were manifesting them. This is them coming in strongly. Could have their own Leo energy, but they're attracted to you. They're absolutely, they're riding on the astral train, and it's coming. This one's coming. It's not there. It's coming I think it's going to be an existing relationship. But you drew this in. Absolutely. It's fantastic. Oh, my God. The vice from spirit. The four of wands. What's that? This is the building up of a strong, long-term, committed relationship or marriage. That's what this is. And this is the advice from spirit for you, Leo, regarding the interaction with this person that's in your heart. That's how that is. It kind of says it all. Oh my God, and the Knight of Pentacles. And this Knight is coming towards you again. 
guys, Leos, you got to love this. This is so strong. So this person's coming in. This energy could be a, um, a typical energy when you first fall in love and they're very attracted to you sexually, everything. They're just, they, they're, they, you are lighting up their world. Now, though, this is their advice from spirit. I see no reason why this person wouldn't take it. They're coming in as the high priestess. Is they already know this. So it's just like I'm just saying what they already know. They know they gotta, they're in it to win it. And they're going to take their time. And to build, remember, this is, this is the building up. These are actions, a long-term committed relationship. This is your advice for them. And their advice is, yes, let's build. How are you going to build it? You're going to build it with Mars, action. Mars are always knights, and this is the builder, hmm? Capricorn, Earth signs. It, all, all of your cards are completely harmonious. This is the first six cards. It's like the synastry where I look at you guys together and how you're interacting. I could already make some guesses to where like your planets would be. Consider a synastry reading. It's important. But guys, <laughs> you still got five major arcana. <laughs> out of uh, seven cards right now, if you count the bottom. Now we're gonna look kind of at your synastry, at your composite chart, I mean. Composite relationship, Ace of Pentacles. This is uh, advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole, and this could not be more positive. First of all, look at that thing. That is robust. Is that not strong? Pentacles are secure. Pentacles are sincere. Ace of Pentacles, I mean, well, in general, but yes, the Ace of Pentacles, this is really sincerely starting this new building of a life, and I think with the Ace, it's sort of like, you know, you start with one brick, you know, um, but uh, if you look at the composite chart too, I got a feeling you could be a Capricorn ascendant couple, if you know their birth time, uh, Leah's do me a favor, and if you know yours, you know you can go on the um, Astro Seeks, probably the easiest, very easy to enter everything, and look at your composite chart and see what's going on. Um, you could have your seventh house in Capricorn too, you know, in a composite, it can work that way. Uh, you might work on, maybe you have something there, Saturn trying to Venus or the Sun or something, and then makes the seventh house very strong where you're together as a relationship. So also I see where you're making each other stronger together. You're, this is not like codependence. It's like uh, 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 physics, you know? Oftentimes things are stronger uh, in their, uh, in together with something else than they are individually. It's just how things can work, you know? It's not a bad thing, two of wands. And this is no one making any decisions or splitting up. It's like what I see here, it's like when I saw this card, I felt like I felt like a <laughs> like this. It's so strong. It was like the V shape here I'm feeling. It's like these are like antenna and it's shooting off energy. But I often said with the two of well, I'm a backpacker until I got the major league <laughs> hammered. I can't really do that anymore. Uh, but all my life, and there's nothing I like better than exactly that. I'd be there, I'd leave in the dark and arrive at the trailhead early in the morning, gear up, and I'm off as soon as it's light enough to see the trail. And you see the dawn coming up, I'm in the mountains. I mean, that just looks yummy. And sometimes I think as an intuitive reader, it's really helpful just to forget all that jargon for a minute. I know it's a sin to say that. And just ask yourself, how does that make you feel, this card? How does that make you feel? So I think for a Leo or any fire sign, that makes you feel pretty good. That's all about opportunities. Look, look what's out there ahead of you. It's like the whole world's out there ahead of you. It's beautiful, you know, absolutely beautiful calling. And so I see you guys like joining together here and uh, really solid with this Ace of Pentacles. So uh, you're not like a hippie couple with not a dime to spin off in their VW van uh, across uh, Mexico. Um, so you're solid. Uh, but you're just together really opening up and feeling like anything's possible. Um, we can do anything together, you know, with our lives. Um, and I don't really see a reason to clarify that because you're going to clarify it with what you do. So tell me what you do.
because it, it seems very wide open here. You know, you, you have the resources and ability um, to probably do anything you want as a couple. Live anywhere you want, do anything you want. Let me know what you think of that.